We want everybody to take a seat. The vice president is in our midst. He and his wife and his entourage. At this point, with a great round of applause. The vice president of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Dr. Ahaji. Shall we put our, shall we rise to our feet? Let's put our hands together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. The second lady, my beautiful Samira. <laughs> Apostle Dr. Eric Nyamiche, Chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Dr. Diodene Komla Nuekpe, Area Head for La. Pastors, Members of Parliament, Present and Past, Ministers, Senior Government Officials, CEOs, members of the Dr. Thomas White congregation. I thank you very much for the opportunity to be with the Church of Pentecost and the Dr. White congregation on this night as we cross over from 2022 to 2023. As many of you may know, I have over the years built a very special relationship with the Church of Pentecost. And I have a special relationship with Apostle Nyamiche. A couple of days ago, I spoke with Apostle Nyamiche by phone, and I asked him after we ended our conversation, um, where will you be? on 31st night, and I assumed that it, he would probably be at Yesukrum. I said, Yesukrum, he said, no, I'll be at Dr. White. So I'm here with him today. And you, you, the word that he preached today is very deep, and we thank him for that. Ladies and gentlemen, on a night like this, we come together in unison to show appreciation to God for the mercies and grace. He has shown us, not because we are any special than others, we come to God differently 
from different backgrounds and families with different expectations. Some have fulfilled desires while others may not. But as the Apostle Paul wrote in the congregation in Thessalonica, we must rejoice always and pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for Christ, for us in Christ Jesus. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18. As we enter the new year, I pray that Ghana continues to be peaceful. We are different people from different ethnicities and different religions, but we are all children of God. What makes us unique is our unity in diversity, and we should guard it jealously. We may have our minor differences because of the differences in backgrounds which are normal, but in our differences, we must be indivisible. Ghana currently, the latest ranking makes us the second most peaceful country in Africa and the first most peaceful country in West Africa. And this we have to be thankful to God Almighty for. Children of God, we must leverage our spiritual authorities and relationship with God to bring development and happiness to our societies and one another. In our own small ways and in partnership with government, the church must be seen as an instrument not just for spiritual and moral purity, but also social and economic transformation. And I think this is what Apostle Nyameche was saying, that the re relevance of the church is how transformational it can be in our nation, Ghana. And government is committed to partnering the church and all faith-based organizations to realize these goals. People of God, we are all witnesses to the difficult and challenging times the world, and for that matter, our country, has been going through in recent times. It has been a period characterized by economic uncertainties and challenges that have caused even stronger nations to crawl. In times like this, we deploy all efforts humanly possible to enable us stay afloat on the surface of the challenges. But those who forget God and face the battle on their own cannot succeed. You cannot succeed on your own. Our teachings in the church provide hope in times of such uncertainties. In Psalm 9 verse 10 says, we are told that those who know the name of our God put their trust in him for he, the Lord, has not forsaken those who seek him. So we put our trust in the Lord. Knowing God and trusting him cannot be separated. In addition to our human efforts, our hope is secure in who God is. His goodness, his steadfast love, his justice, and his compassion will guide us through this difficult period across the globe. The prophet Isaiah reminds us that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings of eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. These two scriptures people of God, recognize that as children of God, there will always be moments of hopelessness, despair, doubt, fear, and uncertainty. But our hope in God is always our source of strength and motivation in these periods. As your government, we do recognize the difficulties we are experiencing in our country. 
but with renewed strength and hope in the word of the Lord, we are forever confident that we will ride this storm and turn things around to the glory of God. We have been working while at the same time trusting in God. We just don't trust in God and sit down and fold your arms and go to sleep. You have to work. So we have been working while at the same time trusting in God for his unfailing love and, and thankfully we are beginning to see the power of our Lord manifesting in the improvements in our economic outlook. We will continue to work hard and keep our trust in him for the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. I am very optimistic of Ghana's future, and my prayer is that 2023 should see us continue on the path of economic emancipation and accelerated development. Today, Dr. White congregation and the entire Church of Pentecost, I pray that 2023 you will be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, your request will be made known to God. I say and I repeat what we have learned today, listening to the word. Let's reposition our minds. Let's reposition our heart. And let's reposition our hearts. And with that, by the grace of God, we'll have a happy new year. Afishiapa, I think Thank you very much. God bless you.